Uh, well, we're in the grip of this cold snap that will last until the end of the week. At the moment across the country, there is a band of a weather front or what we'd normally consider a band of rain moving northwards over the country, but because it is so cold. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm still on Ackill Island and it's the end of my second day now. I never got up this morning for sunrise. A um, couple of reasons really, I had a kind of a difficult night's sleep. It was really, really cold outside. I was nice and warm within the van, but actually it was too warm uh, at certain times during the night. So I kept waking up, but I didn't obviously want to take off any of the layers because it was minus two overnight and we also had a flurry of snow. When I woke this morning, it was to frantic cries from Dermot that we were after getting up late and he banged on the side of the van. Uh, he ended up going down to uh, Keem uh, bay again to take some shots but at that point for me the light was too harsh the sun was too high so I decided just to take the extra bit of time for sleep now like I said it's on the end of the uh, second day now and we've come to the other side of the island and over here behind me you have a thing called white cliff um, and when they light up by the sun I think they'll be really really nice now at the moment we've got some patchy clouds as well they're there so it should be actually a nice evening hopefully it'll be a nice sunset we get a nice bit of color because what we have here from this vantage point is views to this side and views all along here as well so if these areas catch the light it will be absolutely beautiful over to my right hand side as well I can see where we were uh, this, this morning in Keem Bay and I can see the mighty Krogan cliffs that we were actually camped at the base of. So yeah, that's what we're going to do anyway here for my final episode on Ackle. Um, it's been fantastic. We didn't get much light uh, yesterday as you would have seen from that video. You know, we got rained on quite a lot. It didn't change for the remainder of the evening so there was no sunset and then this morning it was clear skies um, which was unusual but again like I said we got up too late um, for me anyway on purpose. Um, so yeah I'll give you a look around here. What I am going to do is take a couple of shots anyway here of these cliffs behind and I'm going to do some long exposures um, while I'm waiting for the light but if the light does come I think it's going to be fantastic. from uh, sunset and it is absolutely Baltic up here uh, I've got you know my jacket on I just took off my gloves here because where you are at the moment is actually in the van because there's a huge wind that's blowing this direction here and that's what's making it so cold but yeah we are not that far away now from uh, sunset there is some clouds on the horizon hopefully they won't be the things that stop what I'm hoping to get, which is some nice light hitting these headlands here. Down this direction actually should be nice, but let's see how we get on in relation to that. I took a couple of long exposures um, in different directions as well, which were quite interesting while I was waiting for the uh, sun to dip. But yeah, this is uh, quite interesting, beautiful. Nonetheless, you know, really, really nice areas to look around, but what it needs now is the light. So fingers crossed, we get the light in around about maybe 45 minutes.
the light is unfortunately starting to fade now it's going behind uh, a bank of clouds there on the horizon what the lighting me up right now i think is probably going to be the last of the light now what i've done here is gone out uh with my long lens and i've just picked out a couple of vignettes as the light was bouncing off some of the peaks with some nice shadows and such like that that were hitting off of them and then I shot as well behind me but um, yeah as you can see I'm in the van right now and I'm absolutely freezing now I think I'm coming down with a cold or something um, because I'm all wrapped up uh, it's cold but I still can't get uh, warm so hopefully I'm not coming down with something anyway because I'm not finishing this trip yet we still have one more location uh, to visit after now but yeah I think I'm going to hang around here and see now if I'm going to get this light it doesn't look like it to be honest you know I might end up getting something on the horizon if the clouds that are on the horizon kind of catch a bit of light but yeah advantage of having the van is that I can be uh, here away from the elements I suppose I can see the sun directly from here as well so I'm not going to miss uh, anything and I'm not hanging around as well in the freezing cold but yeah I'll show you what I've gotten anyway here uh, now and then like I said hopefully we might have a final hurrah uh, for Ackill Island because it is a stunning area but like I said earlier on it needs light and yeah maybe maybe not I don't know um, but yeah I'll show you what I have now and I'll check back in before we finish today's adventure. Well, that was a pretty much of a bit of a letdown. Uh, no real light got swallowed up by the clouds. So I retreated now back into, like the old days, in the van with Mr. Dermot O'Donovan. And he's made me an absolutely beautiful curry. So, yeah, I'm going to tuck into that now and try and warm up because, yeah, it was freezing. So, look, thank you very much for joining this episode. Pretty uneventful overall, but do think I got some nice shots nonetheless. Now, maybe some nice long exposures and a bit of colour when it was hitting those lights. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, schnall the phone.